And those who want to know who sent it, you're watching Eyewitness News Live at 10. We start with a secret peeping case that's been going on for over a decade. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Wickersham. I'm Erica Bryant. This man is an electrician and an employee of Davidson College. He's accused of secretly recording women at multiple different locations for 15 years. Channel 9's Glenn Counts is live outside the campus at Davidson College with more details about this shocking discovery. Glenn? Well, Erica, prior to last week, Jeremy Whitworth would have been considered a model employee. After all, he spent most of his working life right here at Davidson. Tonight, he's accused of a shocking betrayal. 49-year-old Jeremy Whitworth is an electrician. Morrisville police believe that he used his position to place hidden cameras in women's restrooms on the Davidson campus and off. You just feel like you have no control over the situation. So yes, I would say like vulnerability is like a big thing and just a lack of, it's really invasive just overall. Today, Mooresville Police and Davidson Campus Police held a news conference to talk about the case. I can tell you that we have literally dozens and dozens of videos that go back uh, past 15 years. Mooresville police say a tipster came forward with information and they were able to get a search warrant for Whitworth's home. We were able to find a number of hard drives and computers and cell phones that contained images and videos of women in different restrooms. In addition to Davidson College, investigators believe that Wentworth recorded in stores around town like Walmart and Target. The cameras were also used in Airbnbs, and because he's an electrician, if you ever hired him, police want to hear from you. We don't think it would be unusual or out of the ordinary for him to have maybe worked on somebody's house, put a device in there, said that he needed to come back the next day to for something he didn't have that day and come back the next day. That's absolutely possible. Five generations of my family came to Davidson, including two of my children. Lisa Boswell is a Davidson alum. She's disappointed about the news, but not surprised given today's climate. There's creeps everywhere. There were when I was here. I'm sure there were when my children were here. I'm sure there were when my grandfather was here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but I think the college will deal with it responsibly. Now, Whitworth is married, and police say that his wife is cooperating with the investigation. One of the reasons that police went public today is because they think there could be dozens of victims out there, and they want people looking at that mugshot. Reporting live from Davidson, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. It certainly is disturbing. Glenn, thank you. Jeremy Whitworth is now out of jail tonight on bond. The Mooresville police chief is asking if you recognize him, if you might have had an encounter with him, they want you to call this number on the screen. It's 704-658-9021. We also posted the number inside this top story on our website, WSOCTV.com.